Hey everybody, it's Jesse with the Engineer Motorsport Solutions. I just wanted to go over installing the Ross damper real quick. First thing we do is we have this heating plate. We hook it up to a jump box. Be careful, they do get really hot. We want some thermal expansion to open it up so we got more clearance to slide it over the snout of the crank because these are an interference fit. They're not made to simply uh, slide straight on. We have a special tool that we screw into the crank and this guy screws over it. And then as you tighten it up, it rides on a bearing and presses the damper on. You don't have to have this. You can totally use a bolt and do this. Before I install, if you're doing this installation and you do not have a keyed crank and you kind of need to know how to orient it, uh, get a long M6 bolt, cut the head off of it, thread it into this factory timing location. It will slide in the hole on the Ross damper that is uh, straight up and down from roughly the 290 degree mark that's laser marked on the damper. So that's the hole you will use to line it up if you don't have a keyed crank. If you have a keyed crank, then obviously it's going to slide straight on no problem. So uh, let's get it installed. I'm going to use a towel to hold it because it is hot. Get it, get it started on the crank like so. Now we're going to get our little install tool. Again, you could totally use a bolt here, crank bolt if you wanted. We just like this because it just makes the install that much easier and nicer for us. Get our trusty uh, one size fits all. Start pressing it on the end of the crank. You can see it slowly sliding back. Of course, as you get more surface area on the snout of that crank, it's gonna get a little tougher to press on. If you're using a OEM crank bolt or uh, any crank bolt for that matter, my suggestion is to torque it to spec, loosen it up, and then torque it to spec one more time. That way, if you don't have it fully seated, you might torque it and it seats it, but then the torque value might not be quite true because you've actually displaced the damper. So I recommend the loosening and tor torquing one more time. And that's pretty much it, folks. Do this, uh, put it on top dead center, use your timing tool to position the crank position sensor and you're good to go. So if you're interested in getting a Ross damper for your EcoBoost engine, just make sure you check out www.emsinc-tn.com.